With every SDL file that you downloaded online, there comes something else, the license. How to read the license, how to handle your SDL file after you're taking tons of pictures and you want to show it with all of the world. How to read it, how to interpret it, and what is allowed and what isn't allowed. And especially for you guys, if you're brand new in 3D printing, right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. You know, for a long time, I have been seeing this thing passing by every single time on social media, whether it is Facebook, Twitter, or X, or some other social medias where people are showing their amazing 3D prints from their 3D printer right into the rest of the world. Most of the people are also very known with this concept of sharing and also providing the name of the designer who designed this model. If it is yourself, hey, feel free to not share anything or hey, I designed this. We fully understand that. But some amazing models where put a lot of time and efforts in it to design it by the designer. If it is a model from Wexter, if it is a model from Photos Mint, Chaos Cortex, it doesn't really matter who the designer is. But if you are going to share it on social media, it is always a good thing, a good etiquette to share from who it is. And if you want to go the extra mile, also provide a link so other people can also start downloading this uh, file. But there's this one thing with the exclusive models that you got from printable clubs or from tanks, memberships or from Patreon that you are paying a monthly fee to get this SDL file. Or if you bought it from Gambody that you are not allowed to actually put this SDL file somewhere else that everybody can download it for free. It's to the designer to put this model in public and then that everybody can download it for free. And please don't share those files for free somewhere else on a different kind of platform because you are being watched. But let, you know, let's, uh, let's talk about all the licenses there is or that I could find and uh, tell you how it works. In this example, I'm using Printables as a website to show you all the licenses being used on this site. And, you know, there are some other sites as well, like Tanks, Thingiverse, uh, Maker World, or some other sites where there is most of the time always something mentioned about the license. Well, let's get to one of the first models that I found. It's uh, from Wexter Hitman. This is Hitman, a very beautiful model. Same model, two characters. Here, when you scroll down, this is just in the details. Model origin, yeah, he made them himself. The license, Creative Commons. This is a logo that Creative Commons is using. It's saying, buy a dollar mark that is crossed, no commercial use. And uh, the equal sign is uh, ND, and it stands for non derivatives or no remixing. Here with printables, I find this very easy to understand because underneath the whole license, it's exactly saying what it says. You're not allowed without attribute to the designer. You are also not allowed to make any remixes of this model. You are also not allowed to sell this and you know free cultural works it's not allowed and meet open definition it's all not allowed what i sometimes do if a friend or a family member comes to me and ask if i can print something they sometimes ask say like oh how much money do you want for this i can give models away for free if i print something and i have so many of it i'll i'll just give them away for free but if this kind of family member comes to me or a friend and say like, hey, I'm going to offer you some money for it, for the time and efforts that you put in there. I always contact the designer and ask, hey, is it okay that I will get some money for it? And do you also want uh, some some gift or some, some money for it as well? Let the designer know what your plans are. And if he's, he or she says, hey, it's totally fine, um, or maybe, he or she wants a, a little tip like five or ten dollars you know depending on also how much that you sell it for that's that's my take on that we have uh, from the crafty maker also a very nice designer check out the amazing models right over here he uh, he's a nice artist for example the space shuttle a stained glass light box very much fire okay the license this license also creative commons this is what uh, printables is using also attribute it's not allowed to sell and uh, SA, but what does SA mean? SA means share alike. So if you are checking here right underneath, you know, if you are printing this and share this, those pictures online, please add the name of this designer. Remix culture is allowed in this case, but you are not allowed to sell it. And you know, and it makes total sense. Free cultural works, meet open definition, those two things are also not allowed. If you're not very familiar, when you click on this, I'm going to create a link. Here it says exactly in the Creative Commons exactly what buy and see 
as a means. So share, copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format that is free to do that. Remix, transform and build upon the material that is allowed. But under these following terms, when you are going to share it, you are allowed, but please mention the one who did the design. You are not allowed to sell it for commercial purposes. Commercial. So if you want to sell this on Etsy, uh -uh -uh, it's not allowed. So I think something like selling it because a friend or family member asks you like, hey, can you print this for me? Do what I do. Just contact the designer and ask, hey, like, do you also want a little share of it if I am selling this to my friend or to my family member or my neighbor? And share like if you do a little change on a, you know, the, the frame of it, you are allowed to do that. Then we have also here a model from uh, Room uh, Perriera. I hope I, uh, I pronounce the name correctly. It's a Pokemon Pikachu. Looks very nice, very cool. And here the license says Creative Commons and Buy. There are no other things is in there. So here on printables, it says sharing without attribution, it's not allowed. So in this case, if you take some pictures or make some videos of this amazing model, please add this designer to it. But remixing is allowed commercial use you can sell this Pikachu and feel free to do so. So earn some money with it. I would suggest to give also a little tip to the designer. It's, I think, a fair thing to do. And, uh, you know, free cultural works meet open definition. And uh, if you also here click on it, you will get also a very explained thing what this Creative Commons says about this model. Of course, this is not only limited to you and me but also brands that are in the 3D printing space, that they also need to apply those kind of licenses as well for showing the, those models. And especially also by showcasing these 3D printers with the amazing models that they just produce, it's especially very much necessary to attribute the designer, give credit to the designer. There are some designers already having some special perks or special tiers for the companies that they are getting sponsored or that they are getting support and that those brands are free to use those models also giving of course the attribution that the designers need now you know a little bit more about the license that come with sdl files or other 3d model files and you know exactly how to handle it what is allowed and what is not allowed you know what is also allowed checking out this video right over here where i'm talking about the review from the Corality and the three v3 ka right here